worker an employee, and when is she or he an independent contractor? Howard's here to report that the rules are changing. Employers like using independent contractors because they don't have to provide them with medical and retirement benefits, and they're easier to fire. But they also like to control the worker's behavior, and in some cases, that makes this a violation of federal labor law. New federal regulations will clarify this, effective March 11. Bottom line, if a person is financially dependent on the employer for work, they are an employee. For a person to be a true independent contractor, they have to have the freedom to profit from their acumen, selling work or service to others. An Uber driver who isn't allowed to drive for other services isn't really independent. This reminds me of the settled law defining supervisors and managers. A supervisor must supervise employees. A manager can manage resources, but in both cases, they need some authority to act on their own. If they need authorization to do anything, they're not really a manager. This comes up a lot in union cases where employers are tempted to exclude people from the bargaining unit by claiming rank and file people are managers, but it turns out they can't even authorize overtime.